Is Tetris and Tetanus the same thing? Tetris and Tetanus are not the same thing, no. Isn't like Tetanus like the thing, the disease you get from uh, like piercing uh, dirty metal? Something like that. No, I don't no, know exactly. You might get Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too excited. You're too excited? Yeah. So should we just do it? Okay. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do okay. it. Here we um, go, guys. All right, Phoenix is excited. I'm excited. I'm sure you guys are excited too. So today we are opening the August Japan Crate standard red box with the white circle in the middle. Nothing special about this one, but um, hopefully there's some good snacks in there. Honestly, I don't know anything about what's inside this because usually uh, before I get a box, I'll see like you know, some previews on Instagram or something like that. But this one, no idea. So it's gonna be a complete surprise to all of us. Should be fun. So, Phoenix, let's do it. Okay. You excited? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is obviously grab my knife here and we're gonna slice open the tape. Uh, which one's the knife again? That's a nail file. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna cut it with a nail file. That, that today. could work actually, but we're, we're gonna use the knife here. Okay, so uh, here we go. Why am I struggling so much today? I don't know why. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, box is open. Let me just open it up for you guys real quick. Okay. Oh, I can see some mango Kit Kat in there. I see some mango Kit Kat too. Alright, alright, so let's move things around a little bit. Let's do our. Uh, thumbnail as we always do. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sure we have something good. All right. So this is the August 2021 edition of Japan Crate, as you can see here from the pamphlet. And here's a little look at the inside. Probably kind of blurry, but that's all good because, as always, we will be uh, reading all of the descriptions for every snack. And uh, let's see if there's anything interesting that immediately stands out to us. Obviously, we got the mini Kit Kat uh, mango flavor, which is pretty pretty exciting. Ooh, Cheezak. Cheezak. What is that? Cheese snack lovers rejoice. Cheezak. Okay. Uh, interesting. And we also got some cola gummies. Love that. Um, some potato chips. Melon ca caramel corn. Oh! Oh, I love caramel corn. Me too, me too. Okay, so that should be good. That should be good. We got some express train jelly, some panda ka ramyun, uh, fruit donut gummy. So mm -hmm. this should be good. This should be good, Phoenix. It looks good, right? Yeah. All right, so why don't we uh, just jump right into it. I'll okay. hold up the box for you. You pick something. I'm gonna let you go first. I immediately am looking at the cheese act. The cheese act? Okay. I have no idea what that is, what is but. It? Um, <laughs> it's got a pretty cool cat on the front, so I'll give you guys a quick look here. There you go. Okay, so Phoenix, go ahead and read okay. the description for us. Cheese Act. Cheese lovers rejoice. This crispy, creamy cheese snack uh, features a crispy outside with creamy cheese uh, flavor melting from the inside. Okay, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to get from that, but Same. let's just open it <laughs> and uh, see for ourselves. Okay. I I hope that's salty. Uh, it sounds like it's gonna be salty. It should be like a cheesy cracker, I'm thinking. Mm. Okay, so here you go. Oh, it's just one piece. Okay, so it's a big orange rectangle. Um, almost like a giant Cheeto, in a way, yeah. <laughs> right? So go ahead and half, uh, half, half, or as much as you want. And I'll have the other side. Mm. It's a little sweet. It's a little sweet, but... Sour. I mean, uh, salty. It's it's like a sweeter Cheeto. Yeah. It is, it is essentially a giant Cheeto. Yeah. It's good, though. Really yeah. good. Really good. Mmm. Tasty. Ratings. I like that. I like that. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.5. Mm. No, actually, no. We gave everything a 7.5 last time. Yeah. Let's do 8 this time. I'm going to go with yeah. 8. Because that is actually very good. And I love Cheetos. So. Yeah, I'm going to do an 8. Yeah, I love Cheetos. You love Cheetos. Yeah. So that's a winner for us. Uh, next up, let's do, you know, I usually go for the bigger boxes, right? Or the bigger packages. So I'm going to go for this one right here. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. It looks like potato chips. I think it's wasabi chips. Wasabi chips. I love wasabi. Mm, I okay. You want me to read it? Okay. Hey, you hold uh, Why don't you open it? I'll read. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Natsu potato azumino wasabi. 
featuring potatoes harvested from Kyushu with added wasabi from Azumino City in Nagano Prefecture. Uh, these thick sliced and wave cut chips are our new go-to chips for the season and only available for a limited time. All right. That's a big chip. Look at that. Okay, so package. And let me try to get a full chip. There's some broken ones in there. Look at that. That's a big chip. All right, it's wavy. It's a wavy chip. Oh yeah, very wasabi. Is that spicy for you? Mm, not really, but I I don't like the tingle. The tingle so of wasabi? I'll, yeah, I'll give it a 6.5. <laughs> I think it's really tasty. You want more? more? I have one more. Okay, there you go. You got two halves, so basically one full one. Um, I think it's great, because I love wasabi things. You know those like wasabi beans? I love those. Um, obviously, you know, when I have sushi. Um, so yeah, as a fan of wasabi, this gets a... Eight point five from me. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's really good. But once again, you know, you have to be a fan of wasabi to to enjoy it, right? Yeah. So I, I get I get you, man. I get you. All right. So I'm gonna put that to the side, but delicious. My turn. Wasabi chips. All right. Next up, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Uh, I guess I'll. Oh, I'll, I'll choose this. This one. Okay. This looks one looks good. like a chocolate bar. Yeah. It's Black Sunday. Black Sunday. A new and say we know. Oh, hold on. Let me let me try to focus this. Here we go. One sec. Okay, go ahead. Okay. A new and recent release. This bar combines uh, Japan's classic candy, Black Thunder, with that of a soft serve sundae. Along with the biscuits and uh, cocoa cookies, cornflakes are added to. Cornflakes are added to accentuate the texture and taste. <laughs> accentuate. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, a black chocolate bar. You remember the black thunder? Yeah. We had before, so probably something similar to that. Mm. Okay, there we go. All right, why don't you take that? Mm. Okay. Enjoy. Mmm, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard? Yeah. Mmm. I thought it would be sweeter. Yeah. It's not super sweet. Um. Almost tastes like a like a cereal bar. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it kind of tastes like me eating like a cereal chocolate bar. I like that. Like an oaty, oatmeal. Seven point five. Oatmeal-ish kind of flavor to it, I think. I'm giving seven point five. Yeah, I'll take that. Seven point five too. Mm. It's got a little bit of a white chocolate taste too. Cookies and cream flavor. Um, not quite as good as like the Hershey's cookies and cream because that's like one of my favorite chocolate bars, but. Uh, it's quite good. Mm. It's quite good. 7.5 I think is fair. Yeah. You know, like 7.5 is like that rating you give when it's like good, but not amazing, but not bad at all. Right? Yeah. Okay. Your turn. My turn. Uh, this one with the train on, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's the DIY. Oh, it's the DIY? Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll save that then. Okay, I'll show you guys real quick. It's got some trains on it and a bus. Actually, no, it's all trains, I think. Yeah, yeah it's, it's three all trains. trains. <laughs> it's three trains. So that's the DIY. We'll do it at the end of the video. Um, so instead, why don't I switch it up with a... Let's do these, these lemon straw things. Yeah, these look like they could be quite interesting. You, uh, sorry, say it. There you go, lemon straws. All right, so it's picola lemon. These tasty rolls are made of lang de chat biscuits. A little bit of French in there, okay? Uh, my pronunciation is probably horrible though. Bite into these yummy treats and taste the Satoshi lemons on both the sticks and in the cream cheese filling. The box contains two packs so we can split these with a friend. Or we can just have one pack. Yeah. Because I'm guessing it's not just like one each, right? Yep. <laughs> so I have a couple of them in each pack. Alright, so they come in these little orange packages. Or pink. What color is this? Peach? Salmon? 
salmon. Yeah, salmon. Salmon. Salmon packages. And... Hmm. No, 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 no. Let's open just one, because okay. I don't think we're going to have all of them. Okay, so let's open this up, and I'll show you guys the straw. Oh, it's broken. Oh, my no! God. Hold on, let me get a full one. What do you do with the box? You're supposed to be able to put your, this, uh, you know, uh, the, the lemon stuff in here. Oh, I mean, oh, oh, I mean, and huh. you're also so allowed to, you're supposed to put your phone in here. Supposed to put your phone in the box? Yeah. Okay, so you put your sticks like that, apparently, it's like a little holder. <laughs> What's the point of this? I don't know. <laughs> okay, here's a stick for you. And, oh, hold on, hold on, we got a cheers, we got a cheers. Oh! I dropped it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I gotta get another one. Okay, here we go. Cheers. chocolate in the middle. It's a little bit of like a coating. Yeah, yeah uh, there's a thin coating of chocolate. Tasty. Yeah, 7.5. I'm a big lemon guy. I'm gonna give it an 8. Mm. It's, gonna, it's, it's gonna get an 8 from me. One more. Go for it. No, 7.6. Okay. You know what? You're right. We're not locked to 0.5s, right? So yeah. So we can do 6, 7, 7.7, 7.8. In fact, I'm going to give it an 8.2. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There you go. Lemon I'm sticks. I'm giving it a 7.6.2. Whatever you want. <laughs> Whatever you want, Phoenix. <laughs> okay. Now, let's put these back in the box. You can let, uh, you know... Mom and dad and, and Taya enjoy them. Yeah. Uh, your turn, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a Pepsi in here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to pick that though. You want that? Yeah. Got the Pepsi? Okay. So we got a nice. Something dropped. Dropped again? Mm -hmm. This time I'll just snap. Alright, so we got a Pepsi bottle. It looks like just regular Pepsi to me. Pepsi raw. Oh, should I say it? One sec. All right, so there's the can. Phoenix, go ahead and read what it says. Pop opened this can of Pepsi Cola on a hot summer's day. For the first time, salt and Japanese citrus flavors are used to enhance the original texture and sharp aftertaste of cola drinks. Can you taste the difference? All right, so uh, I guess it's not exactly just regular Pepsi. It's called Pepsi Raw. Yeah. Interesting. All right. I mean, have you had Pepsi before? Yeah. Yeah, you have? Yeah. I thought you don't drink, uh, like, cola drinks. Mm. Was that a secret? Yeah. Was mom not supposed to know? Yeah. Because <laughs> I know mom doesn't like you like you drinking these. Yeah. Yo, mom, if you're watching this, he was joking, right? Yeah. It was a joke. Good, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, good, good joke. You're I so only funny. tried Pepsi Zero. I mean, I think her concern is the caffeine, so it's yeah. kind of the same thing. <laughs> Pepsi Zero also has caffeine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, um, since you picked it, why don't you try it first? Okay. Yeah, go for it. I can't actually taste the difference. Yeah, no, it's definitely different from regular cola. Like, cause, cause just, you know, cola, like Coca-Cola, Pepsi. Yeah. They have their distinct taste. And this one is a little bit different. I can't really tell what's different. <laughs> I, all I can say is like, it's, it seems a little bit um, less sweet than regular Pepsi. And what does the description say here? Sharp after, oh, and, wait, uh, Japanese citrus flavors. It is a so, little more so it's citrusy. More citrusy than normal. Okay. Yeah, definitely that. I'm giving it a seven. Yeah, a little bit more, a little more um, sour, I think, than normal. I'm giving it a uh, eight. I'm giving it an eight. Man, I haven't had one of these in a long time. Man, I forgot how good they were. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, eight, an eight is good. Let's go for an eight. Yeah. No, 8.1. Hmm. Yeah. 
you know what, 7.9. <laughs> okay, you just gotta be different. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Pepsi's pretty good, but now let's move on to... Let's try this. It's the fettuccine thing. Uh, There's fettuccine gummies. Next time I get the pip too, again. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? But, no, you just went. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's my turn, remember? Oh, yeah. Because you picked the Pepsi. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there you go. Okay, sit a little bit closer so that you're not out of the frame. There you go. And, uh, yeah, why don't you hold this? Let me find the description. Uh, remember last time we had the same thing except with kiwi. Yeah, kiwi. So this one is fettuccine golden apple or pineapple. <laughs> uh, a favorite gummy is back with a perfect flavor for summertime known for their slightly hard al dente. Right? Al dente? Yeah, al dente. Al dente. Um, I missed uh, where I was now. Oh, true. And being in the shape of Italian pasta fettuccine, this edition has a sour golden pineapple flavor. There you go. Okay. Oh, thank you. So there you go. It's a little gummy strip. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Yep, that really good. Delicious. Delicious. It's got like a nice sour. Yeah, it. It like, has like a, a nice level of sour. It also has the tiniest amount of tingle. A tingle. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, these are good. These these are these are these are great. I love pineapple flavored things, so that also helps. But I love like the just like moderate level of sourness. It's not uncomfortable where you're like making a face or anything like that when you eat it, but. So good. Eight point five. Mm. Mm. No, six. Eight point six. <laughs> I thought you were gonna give it a six instead. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what happened? You know what? Eight point nine for mm. me. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love these. I want to finish the whole bag. Okay. No, no, we gotta save, we gotta save. No, no, no. We gotta keep going, first of all. Mm. Still got a lot of video to do. And we gotta save them for the people, okay? Mm. So now it's your turn. Uh, I think it's time. For the Kit Kat? Yeah. It's all right, let me hold up the bag for people, just so they can get a good look at it. There you go. Mango Kit Kat. What I mean? Um, uh... Oh, okay, so Nestle JP is back with a new Kit Kat flavor for summer only, introducing the everlasting summer mango flavor. It's also melted. Enjoy the mellow sweetness of mango in the form of Kit Kat with this bag containing 12 pieces. Yeah, it, it does seem to be... Each Kit Kat be... is important, imported in a different way. What do you mean? Like, uh, I think like uh, a couple, and in other time we unboxed it, it was like crumbled. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, like, these ones are clearly melty because I think they were, like, left outside. Yeah. Um, after the guy delivered it for a couple hours. So all the, like, chocolate stuff got a little bit melted. And these Kit Kats are probably going to be a little bit mutated. Yeah. Maybe a lot mutated, actually. <laughs> yeah, these do it not look like Kit Kats It anymore. doesn't taste... It doesn't look good. <laughs> it does not look appetizing, but I'm sure it's going to be good. <laughs> Let me show you guys what this looks like. It came, there, there's no Kit Kat logo. Yeah. There's literally no Kit Kat. It's just a blob. It's become a, like a formless blob. All right, well. Oh. Finish. That's good. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That's really good. It looks gross. But it's so good. Hmm. Deducting, um, deducting half a point for looks. So that's 8.5. 9.5. Are you crazy? Even with the deduction, mm -hmm. it deserves a 9 plus. That is so good. Wow. This might be my favorite Kit Kat so far. It's a shame it got so melted, but it doesn't, doesn't affect the taste, you know? It just looks kind of weird. These are my favorite so far. Hmm. What do you say? Hmm. Uh, from other and from other person's opinion, uh, plus, 
and point three more points. So that's uh, eight point eight. Okay, that that's fair. No, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to tell you to change your opinion. Mm, or change but I your do score. like it though. I just think, to me, this is like the best Kit Kat we've had so far. Um, I have had a better one, uh, not from Japan Crate though. It was from like a local mall, like a Asian mall, and it was honeydew or some kind of melon that I liked a lot. I, I like even more than this one, but this one is definitely like by far my favorite Japan Crate Kit Kat so far. So uh, yeah, that's an A A plus from me, or A plus plus from me. Mm. Now let's uh, do. <sighs> let's do this one, honeydew. No, um, melon. Oh, it is honeydew. Honey I think it's honeydew. Caramel corn. Honeydew caramel corn. There you go. Why does it look smaller? Than like a regular bag? Yeah. It looks the same to me. Looks like a regular size bag to me. All right, so there you go. Honeydew caramel corn should be great. I swear they did something to it. No, I think you're just crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, caramel corn melon. Tahado caramel corn is known for its classic snack, and their limited time flavors are a must try. In the celebration of their 50th anniversary, they've released new flavors. This melon addition uses melon puree for the dough and syrup from Hokkaido melons. Um, and it's sprinkled with a melon finishing powder. So it's just all melon all day. It's you just, open it. I can't. You can't open it. <laughs> There's lots of melon, Phoenix. And I love honeydew. I love caramel corn. This should be definitely a winner for us. You like melons too, right? Yeah. So, I'll just smell that. Smell that. Smell that. Just, oh, assess the smell. Ah! <laughs> assess the smell. What do you think? It's really good. It smells great, yeah. right? It smells delicious. They should make oh, a watermelon. Yeah, my mouth is like, I'm like salivating, man, just smelling this. You know what would be better for me? What? A watermelon. It? Oh, you like watermelon more? Yeah. Ah, man, that's tough. I think I like honeydew as a flavor better, but maybe as a fruit, I like watermelon more. Yeah. But I right, go for it, go for it. I've made you wait long enough. Caramel corn? 9.5. No, 10. 10, 10. That's a 10. That's a 10. Easily. Ten. Yeah. We're a sucker for honeydew, man. We just, we love it. <laughs> Phoenix, we still got more snacks. <laughs> this kid can't stop. Wow. Honeydew caramel corn eating ASMR. <laughs> 24 hours. Oh man, that is so good. Yeah. That is so good. I'm in love. Oh wow. You like it more than Taya? Gotta think about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but man. They knocked it out of the park with this one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yo, you guys need this in your life, okay? If you if you enjoy melon flavored things, honeydew especially. I just want a bag of caramel corn. Me too. Me too. I mean, you have a bag. You mean like, you mean like a big bag. Yeah. Like a, like a like a shopping bag. Yeah. Yeah, me too. That'd be nice. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. Oh, take one more. And then we gotta move on. There you go. Okay, we gotta cut ourselves off. Guys, we gotta finish this box. My turn. Your turn, yes. Uh, Only some small things now. Yeah, I guess I'll choose this. It's that's really a, that's long. That's a big stick. It's a, it's, a, it's a big, long, skinny stick. And, um, oh, it must be the Ramune thing. Okay, yeah. So, grab that. Let me find the description here. Long True Cider. <laughs> Long chew cider. Yeah. Enjoy the classic taste of Japanese cider with this long chewing candy measuring 24 centimeters. Wow, 24 wow. centimeters. It's like a long skinny airhead. Yeah. It looks like an airhead to me. Okay, eat it. Yeah, taste it. It's kind of hard. Mm. Don't uh, bite it, bite on it. Don't bite it? Oh, yeah. 
Because don't, don't bite directly down, but you can like kind of tear it. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. It's got like that taffy consistency. Yeah. Like I said, it's, a, it's like an airhead. I know. Yeah. The difference is that it doesn't get stuck on the wrapper. It does not. It gets stuck on my teeth, though. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting flavor. Yep. Interesting flavor. It's supposed to be cider. I think. Let me see. Uh, Japanese cider. Yeah, Japanese cider. I'm gonna have flavor. one more bite. Yeah. I'm good with one. I think it's pretty good. I'll give it a seven. Mm. 7.5. Okay. Fair enough. Next up, I'm gonna go for some animal crackers. Mm. This is the biggest package left, and it's got Doraemon on it. Big Animal fan, crossing. big fan of Doraemon, and I think it's Doraemon crackers, yeah? Yeah, there you go. Doraemon crackers. There you go. There he is on the side here, on the corner. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it just looks like animal crackers to me. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, nope, no, that's not it. Mm. Which one is it? Oh, Doraemon strawberry cookie. These strawberry cookies are in the shape of Doraemon in a variety of 20 shapes, uh, such as Doraemon, Dorami Chan, etc. Which one is your favorite? Doraemon. I don't even know them. <laughs> you ever seen the cartoon, right? Yeah. You, but you've seen like this this guy, the cat. Yeah. You've seen the cat around, but you've never seen the actual show. All right, so why don't I give you the cat? There is a Doraemon. Drop some. All right, so that's Doraemon. Let me try to focus for you guys, actually. I'm already eating it. <laughs> there you go. Doraemon. Hmm. I don't taste the strawberry. No strawberry? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. There might be like a slight hint, but like if they didn't say strawberry, if nobody told me it was supposed to be strawberry flavored, I probably wouldn't say it's strawberry flavored. Yeah. Right? One more? No. Yeah. You okay? Alright, so, you know, that's fine. I'll give it a seven. Seven is, yeah, seven is fair. Just a nice little cookie kind of thing, but nothing special. Nothing special. Alright, Phoenix, which one? Mm. I'll go for the Umaibo. Go for that Umaibo. Hopefully, it's gonna be, it's gonna umaibo. be salty. Umaibo. There you go. I hope it's salty. I hope so too. I like the sweet ones, but I think I like the sweet, uh, the salty ones better. Same. Oh, it's lemon. Ah! <laughs> the perfect umaibo for the summer, se summer season has arrived available only for the season. This limited edition flavor brings a refreshing sweet and sour lemon taste to this classic corn snack. So yeah, unfortunately it's gonna be sweet. But it's still good. Like, the sweet ones are still delicious. It's yep. not as good as the savory ones. Oh, that's very so aggressive. That's very good. Very, very good. 7.5. 8. If it was a cheese, I would give it a 9. <laughs> it was cheese. But don't you love the, the, the lemon flavor? Hmm? Don't you love the lemon flavor? Yeah. But not enough. There you go. I think the lemon is great. I'm going to give it an 8. Okay, almost done here. Um, this one. Hmm. Oh, that's the cola one. Ooh. Yeah. There's the package. Okay. And it says, fruit donut gummy. It's one of our favorite gummies. This bottle-shaped gummy has a refreshing cola taste with a sour twist. It's like one of those like uh, gummy hands. You can oh, like yeah. whip it. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's like a star and like a little gummy hand. Okay, let me open this. Can we open this up? Can we like unroll it? Hopefully. Ooh. It's, like a, it's like a toy and a, ca a candy at the same time. And hopefully it won't break. I'm trying to not break it. I'm trying to be very careful with it. There we go. Okay, this is the crucial part, right? The hand. Fingers might break. Okay. 
god. Oh, oh. oh god. It's the middle so finger. <laughs> the middle finger. <laughs> that's I guess that's good. What the? What the? Like a cat. <laughs> alright, alright. Do you wanna eat the hand? Yeah. You wanna eat the hand? Okay. Hey, you can eat the hand. Go. Eat it. I'll eat, I'll eat this. I'll eat the wrist or the, the, the whatever this long part is. Mm. You got a star? I want to show people. I want to show people. Oh. A star. Okay, you can eat it now. Ah. Mmm. Delicious cola gummy. Hey, and it's a toy too. It's fun. Yeah. Eight point five. Yeah, eight. There you go. It's the toy that doesn't last long. No. Because you eat it as yeah. soon as uh as soon as possible. Can I choose now? Wait, what is that? Oh. Uh okay, so we got a piece of gum here. It's a it's a it's a grape gum, so we're gonna put that to the side. Mm. Uh got a couple of gummy things. Why don't we just eat all these at once, okay? Mm, yeah, this looks like pure sugar. Okay, so I'm not gonna read the description for these ones because that seems like a waste, but we got like a sugar panda thing. You wanna try that? Yeah. It does look like pure sugar. Like it feels like a, just a block of sugar. Mm. It, it of, might just be a block of sugar. Phoenix. I think it's a block of cider. There you go. It's like a little white block. Not sugar. Well, there is sugar in it, I think. I don't even know what I just had. It's not bad. I don't know what it is though. Oh, Panda Ka Ramune. Enjoy the taste of Ramune with these cute pandas. The tabs with the imprint of a panda silhouette melt in your mouth. And the melting of the swashwa. Swashwa? <laughs> the mouth expands the range of deliciousness. Okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, we got a big gummy donut. Okay, you gotta show people before you open it, Phoenix. Let go. Okay, there's the... Big jelly donut, not not jelly. Big gummy donut. Gummy filled donut. Do you want the yellow or the green side? Or do, do you want? Let's go down the middle, this side, yeah. this way. So we both get some yellow and some some green. There we go. Oh, I'll give you the bigger one. There we Thanks. Go. Yeah. I want to keep that. The hard candy. Yeah. Okay, so. This is a cider candy that Phoenix can have later. It's Just like a, like a hard candy. There's which, only one. Which takes a while to, to eat, you know, yeah. so we'll save that. And this is, uh, I think, the same as the thing coffee we had before, beans. the coffee beans. Chocolate coffee beans. That Phoenix couldn't stop eating. It's like a little triangle thing, and it has uh, coffee beans in them, like chocolate-covered coffee beans. Yeah. And these were very good. <laughs> these were very good, right? Yeah, very really good. We really like these a lot. You want to open it? Okay. I can open it. I can open it. You can have some. Just, uh, it's, it's not too late. It's not as late as last time, actually, so it should be okay. Yeah. Oh, we're spilling beans. Oh, spilling beans everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you spilled the beans. Here you go. Thanks. I spilled the beans, guys. As you can see, there's a lot of little beans in there. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes like coffee. These are great. Here you go. All right, and we're done. <laughs> That's it. The end. Okay, so the last thing we gotta do it's is DIY. It's DIY with the trains. We don't know exactly what it's gonna be, but I'm guessing we just make like long tubes. Ooh. Yo, we can get an anime Jujutsu Kaisen box. How do I win that? I'll worry about it later. Mm -hmm. But for now, let's see. How do you do it? Um, we got this like little backdrop, which is interesting. Yeah, probably have to use it. I don't think we need to use it. It's probably just for fun. Use the rectangle cup and tray uh, to measure what? What? Use the reg. Wait, use the rectangle. <laughs> Use the rectangle cup in the tray to measure water. Mix one cup of water with first powder pack in a bowl 
uh, well. Pour mixture into the train mold. Do the same with the second powder and pour into the mold over first mix. Refrigerate and wait until the mixture hardens into a jelly and then flip over a plate. Oh, so we're supposed to, yeah, okay, so essentially there's this mold here, okay, and there's like a train mold, so basically you mix this powder you get, get the, mix the powder with water, you put it in the mold, and then you just leave it in the fridge for a bit, I guess, until it hardens, and then you can flip it over and it becomes a train, and then I guess you have a backdrop to the train over here. <laughs> um, Can we use both? We can, we can. I, I think we're supposed to use both, yeah. Mm. Uh, very interesting. Well, how long do we refrigerate it for? Until it hardens. How, how long is that? Should we just, you know, end the video and then do it later? Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're not going to show you the train in the video, but you guys get the concept, okay? You make a little jelly train. You eat the jelly train. Mm -hmm. Or you can just keep the jelly train and, like, put a backdrop behind it and turn it into, a, like, a display piece what if you like uh put it on the train oh uh, the... you're right like there's like uh train just like there's like there's like, tra there's like tracks under here so you can kind of do like this thing and it becomes an art piece yeah bad. wow amazing <laughs> it's an art piece that goes bad they get more and more creative with these well we'll do these after phoenix okay but for now that's gonna be today's video guys the august japan crate done um, overall, ratings. A really good one, right? Yeah. I'll uh, give it like an 8.5 overall. 8.3. 8.3? Yeah. Alright, that's fair. So, this is the inside of the box. I'm pretty sure it's the same as always. And uh, there you have it, guys. Japan Crate. Shout out to them for sending another great box this month. Not sponsored, once again, but we enjoy the product, so uh, I'm okay with supporting it. And Phoenix, any last words before we go? Am I going to die? Why would you die? Because he said any last words. <laughs> I'm going to kill you now. Okay. Okay. So any last words before I do that? <laughs> uh, bye. Bye. To life. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. This was fun. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll be back with the September box next month. So uh, look forward to that. And of course, if you guys enjoyed today's video, we got a backlog of at least like four or five more on the channel that we've done in the past. So check those out too. But uh, that's it. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. Sub to the channel, hit that like button, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm Tiger. This is Phoenix with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. <laughs>